Well, hello, beautiful artisans on YouTube. Thank you for joining me. Um, so I have laid out here for you to come along with me four more uh, pouches. So these are measuring about six, six and a half by um, in full length, about 13 again. So it's very close to the same measure. We had more, uh, this one is more of a seven width, but these are more uh, six. So um, that's the size we're going to be working with. And right next to me, you see this pile of um, fabrics. And what I'm going to do in the next few clips is I'm bringing you along with me on the layout and design. Now, the customer on this one wants uh, florals of blue. Now, many times when you have a predominant color, there may be another color that really makes it pop. So, and in my designs, you'll see many times that one other or two other colors. Now, if I will first do it in all the blues that I have that I think are going to be a nice uh, combo. And if I'm not happy with it, then I search a little bit more. And this one even has butterfly with uh, blue. So there's some really beautiful fabrics here. So I'm really happy with the blues. So we're going to focus on a video today laying out and designing uh, blue themed, uh, blue floral themed uh, Boro inspired Sashiko pouch. So I will bring you along with me on this layout and design. And we will see you in the next clip. Okay, so design and layout is like my favorite part of any project. I just love thinking of the creative different ways, all the different designs maybe that are possible that I can possibly come up with myself. And what I can't come up with myself, when I actually start laying out the fabrics, the fabrics start in their own way, uh, vibing a design that maybe I didn't even think of. I mean, and this is where actually handling the fabric, laying it down and looking at it comes to be so important because now you're you're it starts speaking a design that you didn't even think of. So um I'm not going to pin so I'm putting those to the side. I'm not going to pin right away because um I'm apt to change my mind. Now to uh I want to share something with you. I did go out to Joanne's fabrics and um I was looking at their fabrics and I was looking at blues and greens and hot pinks and I fell in love with this design and they had a sale. So this is a look at that. I just now this to me is a one shot deal. Like I just want to make a coin pouch with just this fabric. And that's what it is. It's just the uh, sunflowers and the daisy. Sometimes less is more. I just wanted to share that with you. Now, with the blue floral themed uh, pouch that we're making, um, the customer wants the variations of the blues. That's what they love. That's what they want. So the first thing is with this pile, um, it's not that you just start taking the fabrics and laying it down, right? You need to cut your fabrics and you need to get different shapes and whatnot. And how do you do that without manipulating the design from the beginning? So basically the way I do it is just make larger and smaller sizes. You're going to come out and if you come out with triangles, rectangles, squares, even circles, whatever you want, um, and obscure shapes because, you know, the patches, uh, from the, um, the historical, uh, creating of Boro is, uh, torn and ripped shapes. Now, um, obscure shapes. So, but I would say like this, this piece 
is this is quite a big piece. So, um, and but look, look at, at the end there. I had cut this for some reason, or that's folded, but I, I had cut that. So I'm going to uh start there. I'm just going to go through this pile and I'm going to cut out different shapes. And what I'm going to do is put them in a another pile. Okay, so what I have is a working pile where the fabrics are more workable for me on this project. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, does that take time? It definitely takes time. So um, I'm going to go through each piece. I'm going to share some of these with you so you can see these designs. And as I'm going along, I'm thinking my eye sees these just blending beautifully. And um, that's what I love. And I don't necessarily need a lot of these pieces. I would say three, start out with at least three, at least two. And then what you could do as you're going along is if you love that design and you're like, wow, this is really working for my project, you know, keep it out, keep it next to you and go back and cut more of it. Now, this one, this is blue and it's really cutesy. Uh, someone gave this to me. So this is a vintage vibing, but it's not going to go with my floral design. It's really not. Now, it could go with um, something I'm creating that has all different types of patches and of blues but not floral. So this, this will go to the side. Um, this is, you can almost tell that's a starry, starry night. So I'm loving this right now. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to cut out a number of these. And I can change the shapes as I go along if, if I want to. But that's what I'm going to do with those. So this is the pile thus far. Now this one, this is a very nice dark navy and almost purple, but it's definitely uh, heavily in the blue theme. And when you talk about floral, look at this. Now this is bigger than the piece that we're working with. Okay, so so that that circle, I want to make the decision. Do I want to savor the circle? Do I want to save it? Or do I want to uh, take parts of it and um, use it in this project? And I think what I'm going to do, because this is so beautiful, and I have actually used this before, I'm going to put this for the moment to the side over here because I may come back to that. So this design. Anchors, no, that's not going with my floral. So I put that in a in um a, a different pile that I probably will not go back to. This is beautiful. I'm definitely going to use this. I will try this out anyway. I will definitely try it out. Now you may need an iron, and I'm going to share with you a really tiny little iron that I got. Um, actually, a Joanne Fabrics some time ago, and it was about twenty dollars. I think it was twenty. So I'm going to tell you this fabric right here. This is a nice, tightly woven. These are all tightly woven cotton. These are fat quarters. This this is working out beautifully. There's no blends here or wools. Anything that is going to maybe um, be a little bit, you know, kind of put the floral off, what I say, off balance. Um, here's that butterfly I was talking about. So I definitely want to test that butterfly out. So I'm going to cut the butterfly out. And I'm going to keep those pieces there. Now here's a smaller 
piece of my circle again. And oh, look, so I found a half circle. Perfect. I don't mind cutting that because it's already cut. But the full circles I kind of want to keep as uh, this is scrap fabrics, and I may want to do a mandala wall piece again because I've done mandala wall pieces. So I definitely want to keep my full circles if I have fabric with a full circle design. These, I feel like I'm going to cut down a little bit more there. Now, this is beautiful. That's beautiful. So I'm sure we're going to find a place for that. Now, this is all yellow, and I, I'd rather not go with a full yellow because, look, this blue background already has the yellow flowers, but this lot of blue there. So, and this is a nice blue. So those I'm definitely keeping. This one has got more pink, so I'm putting that in a pile not to use. This, this is nice. That's nice. So I'm totally keeping that, and I'm going to put that in a pile I can pull from and work with and design. And I'm going to mix all these up as I'm working with them. Now, this is, um, look at these. These are blue. These are blue florals, too. So this is predominantly blue with the white. Um, this looks like a uh, silk screen, doesn't it? This is probably silk screen. I bet you any money that this design initially, before it was printed, was created with silk screening. That's a beautiful, beautiful art in itself. Silk screening is, um, oh, there's two there. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so this is another blue floral. That's blue on white. That's, that's just gorgeous. This is, this is a fabric I have worked with before. And, um, this is not, Oh, yeah, it might be pure cotton. This might be all cotton. Now, this pile, you can see all the blues that we have. I'm afraid when I get to my greens, I may not have as many to work with. But am I going to work with all these designs? Probably not. I'm definitely, as I do the layout and design, I'm going to sift through these and figure out what I want. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Now this has a lot of green in it. So I'm putting this in the green pile because look, that has more green. So we'll put that in the green. We've got another one like that, good size, fat quarter, whatever it is. So this is one we're not using. So this is blue and pink. I don't think I'm going to use that, so I'm going to put it at the bottom. I might, but I'm not going to cut it up because I don't think so. And here's more of the larger piece of the uh, blue flowers. I will put that at the bottom. This is a thrift shop shirt that I got, and this has more green. So I'm putting that over in the green. This is a design I'm not crazy about. It has light blue and pink, so I'm not using that. And then here's, these are thrift shop finds. Um, and I already have a few of these, so I'm not crazy about those. So I'm going to put those over here because I already have a few. This goes in my green pile. And this and this I do like. So we'll keep those there. So those are the fabrics that um, we're going to use. And next is the layout and design. Okay, everyone, so to start our layout and design, we unfold our entire piece and we're going to lay this down. Now, when this is folded, right, you have your flap like that. Now, when we did the cap project, we were very conscious of which way the fabrics were going on the front flap. 
we wanted the cats to be upright. And, you know, so when the person opened the flap, they saw their cats here upright and not upside down. And they were here upright, not upside down. And in the back, maybe it didn't really matter too much, but um, you wanted the cats to be going a certain way. So with this, the flowers, because this is a floral design, I really am thinking I'd like the florals to flow through this piece. So I don't want them upright necessarily and all of them upright. I want them to flow and I even want the pieces to flow. So I may cut some pieces to be obscure shape. So uh, with that said, we'll get started. And this may be our first draft, but um, let's see how we do. So I'm going to tell you, this catches my eye. I totally love this. I don't know if the size is, is what I want. I think I might want a smaller size like this. And I've already decided, okay, if something is overlapping too, that's all right, but I am going to trim that one. I want this piece to show. I'm not covering this seam and much like this one that I did. Uh, these little Yodos are um, part of the design. They're the design, but look, I wanted this to show. So it's the same with this. So with that said, I will use the seam as a guide for me to start laying out my project. And I have a feeling I'm going to change this around a number of times. Now, mind you, pieces can also go diagonal. There's nothing to stop you from putting them diagonally like that. I like that. But for this project, the customer is referencing a certain coin pouch that she already has that I made. So that person uh, would like to see something along the lines of that particular layout, design and layout. Oh, I'm loving that right there. And remember our overlapping about a half, half of an inch. That is gorgeous right there. Now, you do see I jump around, but that is how I do my particular uh, design and layouts. Now, you can start from the corner, but this is borrow building, which is mending. So it's not um, Kawandi method where you start up here and you're going you're going around and then to get to the center. And we'll be doing one of those pretty soon because those are a lot of fun. But this is more um, if you were mending something, uh, building your fabric. Now, I, you see how I just kind of automatically do that in a pattern? We are made to see patterns. We create patterns. We see patterns. That's why I love trying to think out of the box and get out of the box. Because I automatically did that. And that's not really necessarily what I want, but I'm liking the way that looks thus far. So this, this side, I'm going to come. Now this piece of fabric, this blue right here, this is a little, it's cotton, but it's a little thinner than these. So I'm going to test it down here. I'm not crazy about this. Um, if I can get something that I feel looks a little bit better or more effective, I will use it. And I'm thinking even this here. This, this has purple in it, but it also has blue. This has a little bit more blue. So I think I'm going to go with this one.
I'm covering up that blue. I'm going to take this away because I come back to what I really love. So far, I just really love the way that looks. So I want to keep that flow. I feel like that's a flow. And I feel like I'm a little stuck down here. And I want to figure out why. Now, I might want to put a butterfly. See, this is, this is the... Um, the front of the pouch, right? This is the flap. And I said I would, I wanted it to flow. So we're going to kind of put that butterfly to the side because I really do want it to flow. I don't, and, and speaking of flow, now we're getting to some, some beautiful, beautiful designs that do flow. And of course it would be a Vincent Van Gogh design, right? What better? Look, that just saved the day. That's gorgeous. Um, now, I'm not doing this on purpose, to tell you the truth. Um, so, okay, this is a beautiful one. I'm not doing a pattern on purpose. I feel like maybe we're missing some pieces. So this one I'm going to put down here. And I'm not crazy about that. I feel this I like with this. I like that a lot right there. These pieces need to be a little bit smaller. This is a perfect blue floral. Very nice. Now, after I feel like I'm more comfortable about what I'm doing, um, then I will pin them and fold it and test it. And if I don't like the way it looks, then I do it again. And until, until I'm really happy with it. Now, you can do that or you can just do free association and just go. You know what I mean? Like just design. You don't need to manipulate or say, okay, is this the way I want it? I'm doing a little bit of the manipulation because this is a specific request. And I really do want to be mindful of what the person, I'm loving that. Look at that now. Now that's this, this little bit of pink and blue in here is jiving beautifully. It is. It's just driving uh, beautifully. Now, I might take it out, but for the moment, I'm saying that's okay. Okay, now we have all of this left to design. And this right here might now be finding a home because I had this piece out a little while ago and I, I'm like, oh yeah, that start, that looks nice. I like that. Now, maybe this goes even under and keeps, we keep the little corner there. That's very nice. And so I feel like I want this one here. Where your eye flows is a great indicator for how you want to design. In other words, um, if you're looking at the design and suddenly your eye just stops, right? Um, then something's wrong when the, especially in the if the entire piece is done. Um, but if your eye is flowing and you're wanting to see, let's say this design again, put it there because that's your indicator. That's your next step. This I want to see up here. 
I'm loving this right here. And you see, as I do this, you're like, well, how come you're leaving all those spaces, Carmilla? Again, mending. If I approach this in a mending type of method, when I come back up here, I know that's like a patch. It's like a patch I'm putting there. But what patch is the question? Look at this. This piece I love. Look at this. This piece I love, and I love it right there, right there. Perfect, almost perfect. Wait a second. I do want to trim that. I want to keep that blue floral. This, I want to keep like that, though. But I want that blue floral to show. Okay, so you see how it shows because I have a little bit of the yellow contrasting bringing that out. So that's lovely. This is lovely. This is lovely. This is really pretty. And I feel like I want that piece down here. As beautiful as this butterfly is, I don't believe it has a home on this piece. Um, I'm going to put that over here. These are more purple, so I'm going to put those over there. This is another beautiful blue, and that's the same fabric of that purple. But see, I was able to get my blue-themed florals, florals out of that fabric. I don't know if you just heard the pigeons fly, but they're out there. They just So that beautiful blue is, uh, let's see, that might go here really nicely. No, it's the same piece right next to it there. So I'm thinking here. This is what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking, okay, let me cover that space. Now, if you're not sure how to cover your space, think of it like this. An eighth of an inch needs to be going over those other pieces of fabric. And I actually, I just want to, I do want to straighten this. See, this is, this is our nature. We see things out of sorts and we want to straighten it. But um, I try to get away from that. But in this piece, we're going to do that. That's really, really pretty. You see the dark blue and the lighter blue. It's coming together. Now this, like I said, I wasn't crazy about using this. And guess what? I'm not going to use that. I'm putting that to the side. I think we can make this piece without that. Now, this this piece I have here, but there's different parts of the design here. That has no white. It's just a nice blue. It has a little white there. This one might, might go nicely here with some of the white showing. So we'll put this here. We'll test it. Let's test this out. Oops. Yeah. Now, if that piece was bigger, it would not work. Absolutely would not work, but that's perfect. Now, this, this needs another piece here. We need another piece here. And I would very much like to use this somewhere in the middle. Let's see if this works. I don't know if we're going to have enough. That's coming over about an eighth of an inch up there. I don't know. We'll have to move this one up. We'll have to move that up, and then we'll check the others. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. So you can see these come together, and you know pretty quick if it's working or not. And uh, that's going to work there. Now, if it doesn't, th this is definitely covering enough of the fabric. However. If anything pulls apart after you're sewing it, you can add another piece of 
fabric on it. Now, here is a big question because I have almost all the pieces I've used right here intersecting. Um, this one, this one, that, that, this, this one we haven't used here yet. Oh, yes, we have. It's right there. Um, we have the purple part we could use. Let's see, we have uh, Vincent Van Gogh over here. So this is a challenge. And I think we may have the answer. Um, what we're going to have to do is use a couple of pieces. We'll have to use a couple of pieces. So this one I would like to put here. Well, I guess that would go up. Nope, that's the same piece as that. So let's see. I don't want that too close to that. So I can rearrange this a little. Um, we'll bring that down there. This is not going to be big enough to we still need a piece of there. So we will figure that out. Actually, this is what we're going to do. We're going to try a bigger piece of the floral. And let's see what that brings us. We'll try a different size here. So the piece we're having to cover is this piece here. So instead of this piece, maybe we focus on the navy blue and white of this beautiful floral. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Okay, so that's the layout and design. Now, I believe I'm going to keep that layout and design. I'm going to think about it before I pin it. And, um, and then I will sew it and I will show it to you. So thank you for coming along with me on the blue floral layout and design. I hope you love it. And the next uh, video, we will do either green or hot pink uh, floral layout and design. We'll see you there.